just before I came to jail. I was there in the room. It was the most beautiful, disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life, I think. Um, when she came out, I cut the cord. My kid's mother held her first. And then they passed her to me. And uh, it's weird how something, you, how, how you can just meet somebody and already instantly have love for them. You know what I mean? Like a, a love that you can't describe. You know, you can do anything. And uh, that's my motivation right now to get out and try and do the right thing for her. Hopefully it works this time. Hopefully I do something different. She, she deserves it. She, need, she needs her parents in her life, you know? Today, Bubonis is on his way to court where he hopes charges of assault and battery will be dropped because the alleged victim, his girlfriend, refuses to testify against him. Bubonis' older brother, Ryan McNee, has mixed feelings about the day. But when he gets old, when Nick gets old today, I'm a little sad to see him go, but I want to see him on the street there, yeah. I want to see the kid in jail. Trying to call you tonight, all right? Hold on, Hold on, Hold on, Stay safe. Trying to do it right now, all right? Hello. Yeah, I'm worried about him. Because, um, uh, he's living the same kind of lifestyle I live now. He, he, he runs around just the same way I do, and uh, I don't know what his situation is going to be when he leaves. I don't even know if he's got a place to go. If he don't have a place to go, he's going to go do what he knows how to do, and he's going to abuse, and he's going to end up, he'll probably end up back here before I leave. You never know what you're going to talk about. You're going out there just to relapse in a few days and be back here within a few months. It's the unknown, you know what I mean?